today we're going to be talking about the Dell XPS 15 9560. I've owned this laptop right here uh, for about eight months. I did a review on it a long time ago. I'm giving you guys an updated review uh, on this model. There's good and there's bad to every product that you purchase. And actually, I wanna start off with the bad because there's only one bad thing that I don't like about this product. Um, it's something that's plagued the XPS 15 lineup uh, for a very long time, and that is thermal throttling. For those of you that aren't familiar, thermal throttling is when the CPU is overheating, forcing the motherboard to clock down your CPU speed uh, to compensate for the amount of heat that's being generated. Effectively allowing one, your laptop to cool down, but two, reducing your performance of your computer uh, by a pretty big margin. And that's the case with these things because of how thin the XPS 15 is. The model that I have is 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. I have 256 gigabytes of SS and an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. This is more than capable to do 4K video editing, run some of the latest games, uh, browse the web. With all that power, it does come with a lot of responsibility and I just don't think the design of this laptop does that. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. And there are ways to fix that. So one way is undervolting your CPU. Right now I have mine undervolted and that's done a huge wonder in, in having my laptop stop throttling. Uh, another way is reapplying uh, higher quality thermal paste and thermal compound uh, to the GPU and the CPU inside the computer. Because if you actually do do that, um, it, it truly fixes the thermal throttling issue. But for, you know, but for, for a lot of people, they're not comfortable opening up a product like that. And if you're gonna be spending up to $2,000 on a product, you'd want it to work. That's it. The, the, that's all I don't like about my laptop is that it, 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 it gets hot sometimes. Outside of that, what do I love about it? Number one, I love the, as much as I complain about the design, I love it. Um, it's a beautiful infinity edge display. Anytime I use my laptop in front of somebody, they comment on how amazing the display looks. Typing experience is great. I like it. Um, very comparable to using a Mac. Touchpad is responsive. You know, I wish it could be a little bit bigger, uh, but it is a very responsive touchpad. In terms of ports, it has a USB-C port, which I love. I charge my phone in it all the time. It has a headphone jack, HDMI port, uh, two USB 3.0 ports, and an SD card slot. Something that I wish more laptops will continue to do and allow consumers to do is actually open it up. Uh, so this uh, laptop is actually completely upgradable on a lot of key parts. Uh, you can change out the RAM, you can change out the hard drive. I believe you can even update the Wi-Fi card as well. For performance laptops, um, battery life is kind of like a weird uh, issue because if you're buying a performance laptop, you're you're kind of coming in with the expectation that it's not going to last a long time. You know, these these things aren't meant to run marathons while you're you know gaming or playing or editing 4K video. But to my surprise, uh, this thing does amazing. Uh, for just regular school use, it can last me the entire day. Uh, there's no problem with it lasting from beginning to end uh, through my classes and studying the library. In terms of doing like powerhouse editing or playing games on it, obviously it's not gonna last more than like a couple of hours. That's just that's just the nature of, of using a performance laptop. An added bonus that I like is the fingerprint reader. Super convenient, super quick, it, it reads pretty accurately for the most part. Uh, there, there are times where it hiccups and you know, it's not quite working, so I have to touch in my pin code, but for the most part, it does work. In terms of the speakers, I'm not gonna lie, they're a little bit tinny. They're, they're, not, they're not that great. What we'll see will define It doesn't really matter to me because I, I primarily use headphones anyway when I'm editing my videos, but that's just something to keep in mind uh, if you're into nice speakers. They don't sound like MacBook speakers. And, and really to kind of wrap this all up, the whole package and the whole design of this thing is, is great. It has a nice aluminum body. It has that carbon fiber finish on the keyboard, which feels really nice on the wrist. The durability of the hinge on the actual monitor part of the laptop is very sturdy. Would I recommend this laptop? Most definitely. Do I think this is one of the best Windows laptops that you can buy today, most definitely. I understand they have the 9570 out, uh, but if you wanna save yourself some extra dollars, get the 9560. Uh, this thing is so worth the money and it, and it still holds up to today's standards. I thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new, uh, but until next time, I'll catch you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. Peace.